Today we're going to learn about generative fill. This is a very useful tool. So I already have my dimensions opened in Photoshop. I'm doing 1000 by 1000 pixels and I need to convert this horizontal image into a square image. But I need to make a background. So I am going to go ahead and flatten my image. I am now going to select the area and I'm going to go ahead and select the inverse of that and I'm going to right click and do a content aware fill and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to deselect and now I'm going to use my crop tool and select the area that I want the focus to be in. You can use your space bar to modify and move that keep it nice and even. And there you have it. And this is a really great solution. I needed to do this for my client's website. So here I am exporting this. And now we're going to go ahead and show you how we're going to go ahead and place that in the client's Shopify store. So as you can see there, this picture doesn't sync up with everything else. It's not the same size. So we're going to go ahead and look for that product. This is the bonsai tree that I was working on. As you can see here, the images, they're not the right size at all. <laughs> so we're going to fix that right now. We're going to delete this. Bye bye. And we're going to go ahead and eliminate. And now we're going to add the photos that correspond. This is a really useful tool for you guys and I think it's very practical uh, if you're a photographer or you know if you're running someone's social media account or their website. This is such a helpful tool especially if they've provided photos for you but you can't resize them because with Shopify you can only crop a certain way. So now that I've saved that let's go ahead and refresh and we're going to see the result. and let's scroll all the way down. And there you have it. Everything is now the same size. Everything looks great. I hope you guys found this helpful. Like and follow for more. Thank you so much.